one two one two. Mic check. One two one two one two. We are back live and direct from the Best Materials Project Studio, London, England. All right. Where are we today? Today it's uh, twenty third of May, twenty twenty two. So we've got uh, a new microchip coming up. Uh, it's a six core, twelve thread AMD. We're going to upgrade the UK's cheapest built uh, PC. So cheapest chip brings the price up. We've added the second hand GPU to it, which gives us an entry level four K. Well, that was pretty fantastic. Didn't expect that. Uh, for another thirty-five quid, and it's hundred and ten quid. But we're off to make some money back on. Uh, some of the old CPU AMD 3000G uh, that can go to whoever or wherever but yeah we may have uh, got a bit uh, ahead of ourselves with the uh, Intel 12th gen it's not going to be until July until that is down at the PCI 5 standard the DDR5 standard uh, so we went back a couple of generations and went back to PCI 3 gen so we've got a 6 core 12 thread. Uh, clocks at a couple of gigahertz, 3 gigahertz. We'll probably put 16 gigabyte of RAM in it as well as the 4K monitor as well. So we managed to build an entry level 4K gaming system, including monitor, for around uh, £675. So that's as cheap as possible. Uh, the website is developing along. Uh, we'll pretty much be able to get the web store going soon. Uh, you can order your PCs and what have you from the website www.thebasementerialsproject.com in the future. So it's been a fascinating learning experience. Uh, however, due to the way things are at present, we've had to drop the uh, generations back to PCI 3 Gen. Interestingly enough, it's a cheap way of getting in at 4K gaming. Uh, probably about the equivalent of a PlayStation 5. Uh, depending on the computer monitor. The chip itself is a Ryzen 5 Gen. It's a 4550. So it's the only new microchip AMD or manufacturing that is still on the PCI 3 generation. Bear in mind that the PCI 5 generation is uh, basically what we're expecting to come out shortly. Certainly over the summer, around August, July, August. Going to be extremely expensive. At that time, we're probably going to upgrade the uh, Intel 5 12th gen. Uh, we'll swap it out. Uh, the Radeon 6500 XT doesn't perform as well as the uh, other GPU we've got. And we're waiting for the box to come as well. So we've got the opportunity to go face to face with the AMD. And the Intel 12th gen, so an AMD X gen PCI 3 versus an i5 12th gen uh, PCI 4 DDR4. So it's uh, very peculiar the way the whole industry works together, you know, some generations, X gen, next gen, the rest of it. We're looking forward, of course, to DDR5 PCI 5. Oh, that's going to cost a heck of a lot of money. Uh, we're anticipating to spend about £1,500 in swapping out the build. And that leads us to our advice of the day. So if you're looking to build a PC, the best bet really is to get the best power supply you can afford. Primarily speaking, the first thing you really want to be doing is spending money on the best PC case that you can. Uh, it pretty much You can get pretty much most most setups, right? So, for example, because it's it's one of those things where you have to develop along the continuum of time. So, in the fullness of time, uh, you expect to upgrade things as you go. So, ideally, the first thing that you purchase, you know, on the journey of building a big PC, is the best uh, PC case that you can afford. We've got an issue at the minute with it with the AMD build. At present, the cheapest brand new AMD build with NVM SSD. We had it, including case, all in 250 quid for the basic unit. Right now, that's running on Kali Linux. Uh, but we're spending a bit more money. We're spending another £200 on it. Ah, uh, £185 on it to upgrade it to 6-core, 12-thread chip. 
It's a brand new chip that's just been released by AMD now. So it's a new release AMD chip. Obviously, we have to go into the BIOS and upgrade the BIOS. Uh, and we're going to also upgrade the BIOS on the uh, graphics card as well. It's an old school AMD R9 or a middle school R9. PCI 3 Gen 4K native. So it's got onboard 4K. Something that the new PC, the 12th Gen Intel, doesn't actually have with a Radeon 6500 XT. It's only got times four PCI lanes of PCI 4, whereas the previous Gen 1 has got 16 PCI 3. So all of what it doesn't clock as much, it delivers three times as much, even though it is the X Gen. It's not actually the present Gen. So we'll have a look at uh, collapsing back from the leading edge and seeing how far we can get for our money. What's the most cost effective? And uh, we're pumped for the uh, AMD R9 or the AMD motherboard with the AMD. I think it's the 44, so it's the 4550. The latest Ryzen chip. It's just been released. You can pay around £110 for it. So £110 GBP. So we're looking forward to swapping that out in a minute. And of course, we need to get a new case, so we've got an AMD Ryzen case because the GPU doesn't actually fit in the case that it was in previously. Not bad for 250 quid. Now we're spending another 180 pound on it, so 250 plus 180, 250, 350, 400, 430 quid. If I remember correctly, the, the 4K monitor costs around 200 pounds, so you're looking at building brand new. Uh, an entry level 4K gaming PC for around 630, 645, 650 quid all in. That's a bit of a bargain if you're willing to accept stepping back in PCI gens back to PCI 3. Bear in mind the PCI 5 gen that's uh, contemporary. Uh, there th really isn't anything available at the minute as regards that. So you're going to spend your money on the motherboard that may be tuned for DDR4. Maybe tune for DDR4, PCI4, DDR5, PCI4, or DDR5, PCI5. So there's three different pitfalls you can uh, get trapped inside of. At the minute. So yeah, we're happy to go forward. Uh, yeah, so we started out a few months ago. We built the UK's cheapest game PC. 250 quid all in. And uh, later on we've added to it by upgrading the... Uh, CPU and the processor unit. So anyway, we'll check back tomorrow. We'll get that back out for you. One two one two. Mic check. One two one two one two. We are back live and direct.